And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Basilisk Aggro. Played this deck the other day and it looked really, really impressive. Y'all y'all kind of know this deck though. This is the most popular deck right now is all this Noxus stuff. A lot of people are playing Shadow Isles for Harrowing and y'all know my stance on that. I don't, I don't like uh, Harrowing myself. I think it's quite overrated and I prefer going Freljord. For two of the best cards in the game, the best one drop, Omen Hawk, gives you another great one drop. You know, it's it's just the best one to have. It's the the card that you want to see in your opening hand more than any other card is Omen Hawk. And then uh, Fury of the North, just an amazing, efficient pump spell. It's so good. Four, plus four, plus four with burst when there's we're kind of living in the the land of three damage everywhere and everything else doing three years doing four um, is really important and then of course with all these overwhelm things having the plus four plus four also very important there as well um so yeah so let's go give this a try uh this is one of the best rank like this is probably the best rank up deck if you just want like if you consider time to results like because you can play faster games um one of the, the best things to be doing because of the faster games. All right, opponent's playing a Demacia deck, it looks like. You know, Demacia here splashing Bilge Water. I think that's pretty smart. I, I do like Demacia against Noxus. I think Demacia is a good place to be. Um, I'm going to get rid of Demolitionist. Kind of weird. No! Immediately punished. Okay, normally, you know, I don't mind leading with Omen Hawk, but uh, with us having the attack token, like that's kind of the thing with those two cards. When you have when you have the attack token, I like Saboteur. If we didn't have the attack token, we'd go Omen Hawk. Moment Hawks. Get these things in play. Start growing. So I can go one disciple. Start growing our, our top cards. Debating if I wanted to use Noxion Fervor to take down Fiora. Should have used the Noxion Fervor to take out Fiora. You hoping they'll die of boredom? I'm not sure. Look what you I don't know. That was a tough call. A 
love something that would just do like one damage to everything, right? If we had a, a Twisted Fate or something like that, that would be quite nice. She's not impressed. My life for these lands. They're in a pretty decent spot. We should have a couple of large... Ugh. I was going to say we should have a couple of large threats with Omen Hawk, but I guess we get Precious Pent. It's not exactly what I was talking about. Okay. I mean, it looks like they got this. So I was talking about with Demacia. I mean, I I do like these Demacia decks against against Noxus. Okay, we're gonna need this big spider. Help us out. Show them what we're made of. Dang. They had a great hand though. They, they did have a great hand. Demacia is the most underrated region for sure. You don't you don't run into too many Demacia decks right now. That's kind of what I was going with with the Shen Lux deck. Definitely like Demacia. The thing I needed to do is I needed to use my Noxion Fervor to kill the Fiora that last game. That's what I needed to do. That was the thing that I didn't do that I should have done. Um, especially because like our next draw was like Transfusion, which that would have been great with the Crimson Disciple. Um, yeah, that was... And yeah, So basically that turn, that I played Draven. I needed to play the Noxion Fervor, kill the Fiora. Let me show you what I can do. Keep Crimson Disciple alive. Um... I should play Grenadier also, and then attack with Grenadier. I'll try anyone you want. Right on! GG. Why you play Omen Hawk? Omen Hawk is busted. I hope they just had Harrowing sitting in their hand. Nice nine mana card. So I think I've had I've had a lot of like I've played this deck a little bit off stream. I've had a lot of success with this against the harrowing version. Harrowing just looks kind of silly. It's too too slow. And the mirror match. And 
with Omen Hawk and Fury of the North being pretty fast cards. Yeah, four mana, eight six overwhelm. <laughs> double, double Omen Hawk on that rider. Nothing wrong with that. So this hand has no one drop. But then it does go Disciple, Ballista, Rider, 2, 3, 4, and then Darius at the top end. I kind of like keeping all that. We have... Yeah, we'll just draw Omen Hawk off the top. Omen Hawk. Oh, so close. Oh, I, I prefer this one over Mononoxus. Yeah, I mean, it, oh, I Omen Hawk and Fury of the North are amazing cards. I would not... Yeah, obviously. Yeah, I, I like this a lot more than Mono Noxus. Dustmate's not the best champion spell, but there's certainly times where it can overperform. If they don't break, they burn. For the glory of Noxus. I like just attacking immediately. I could, you know, we could play Basilisk Rider and then attack. And then they play their own Basilisk Rider. I don't know. I kind of just like attacking immediately and then having these tricks. Because, like, they could play their own Basilisk Rider and then they could have Transfusion also. Or they have Fury of the North. One damage with our eight power overwhelm, but that's all right. Traded Furies. Right on! I kind of thought that may miss because uh, we haven't seen a single Freljord card yet, so we'd have six out of th thirty-one. So we basically had a twenty twenty percent chance of missing. Oh yeah, never mind. We drew we drew yeah, sorry, we drew the Fury of the North. I forgot about the Fury of the North. Already that's my bad. Yeah, we have Fury. Um, why are we drawing every single Darius? I don't want every single Darius. Alright, so we had so it was five out of thirty one. So base Basically a 16% chance of missing. Not not 2016. Is it the boosters? Oh no! I hope they don't have a transfusion. Obviously. Let's get a good look at you. So this would do two damage to them. Four damage. Five. So no, Darius will not transform. Not level up before. Damage happens. Routes closed. Look what you did. 
they have their own transfusion, that's going to be a big problem for me. And that's what it looks like they do. Could be Noxian Fervor, I suppose. That would also be a bad, bad for me. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like playing three decimates, but I guess, I guess we are now. I guess we're now playing three decimates. Yeah, that's also bad for me. pretty ugly hand that we have. I sorely regret keeping the Darius. I drew Darius, Darius. Gosh, I'm so glad they did that. Step away, coward. This puts me down to three. So yeah, I, I could go for trying to kill them by doing double Noxion Fervor, six damage to them, and then I could untap and decimate. But that's really risky going down to three, and so we're going to try to... Um, but basically, what I was saying is I'm glad they, they should have challenged Darius. I'm glad they didn't, because now I have the blocker for this Overwhelm. Because if they challenge Darius, then all of these things have Overwhelm, and, and even if I kill my, my blockers, it's a lot of Overwhelm damage. This works. No. Hit him where it hurts. Let me show you. One damage short. Yeah, that one mana Ancient Yeti wasn't bad last turn. Pretty fortunate having a one mana 5 5 Overwhelm. Put that extra pressure. I can imagine they just didn't have this card. They'd, it would be at 12. Life would be a lot better. Yeah, if I would have fervored upstairs, but I mean, if I would have fervored upstairs, we would have been down to three, and then they, they could have killed me with a fervor or, or a decimate. It's just too risky to do that. Oh, I guess that's the problem with doing that, isn't it? Decimate, you're so slow. Yeah, hindsight 2020 would have, you know, if we would have gone the Noxion Fervor upstairs. Would have had it. But 
sein. Oh well. Playing Ancient Yeti. Worked out perfectly for them. Yeah, we need that warning shot top deck. Just because today's rank of day doesn't mean that things are going to go well for us. It's not always the case. Alright, I do like Fury of the North against the damage, the, you know, like the removal, the damage base removal deck. Um, maybe you should have gotten rid of Gr Grenadier, because hand's pretty weak to make it rain. Like that, That's why I was getting rid of the... Um, That's why I got rid of uh, the other 1-1. One, one. I'm actually just going to do this. And just get a 3-4 and play right away. It's difficult for Bilgewater or PNZ to deal with a 3-4. I kind of like getting that down on turn 2. Yeah, 3-4 is pretty sweet. They want to make it rain. Yeah, it looks like they have parlay. I wish I didn't keep this Grenadier. Good hand. Strike at their foundations. Charmed, I'm sure. <laughs> we can't draw our bigger things at all. Make make it rain. Make it rain does level up Ezreal. It can level up Ezreal three times. It levels up Ezreal one time for each thing that it targets. Still just drawing one drops. No sweat. We're drawing it, what, eight cards? Eight one and two drops? Can't wait. 
All right, well, Fury of the North, helping out. No one's the wiser. And so I wanted to attack where they had to block with Ezreal and not block with anything else. I don't even know if it's worth it playing Precious Bet, to be honest. Yeah, it's very possible I just wasn't even supposed to play Precious Bet. Yep, that's why. Guess we finally drew something in the top end. So we've drawn two Omen Hawks and one Fury of the North so far. I'd say the most likely thing is that's going to be a Fury of the North, therefore, and that's not ideal. It looks like they got this. Colby passed because they have Thermo. Yeah, a little, little too late. I'm always up for a round or two. Blue as the serpent. All right, we need to draw another Darius. They've already used two Thermogenic Beams. They just played Twisted Fate, so they can't have Gold Card. Let's draw Darius. Alright, Darius, go handle this yourself. They got burn spells to kill me. Wow. Yep. Seven, seven damage. They took, you know, my Crimson Disciple and two Transfusions there. Yeah, they just had seven. And then a Noxion Fervor. So yeah, they just took all my burn stuff. Some days you just lose, and that's, that's okay. This is a day that I was hoping to win more, but some days you just lose. Days everything goes right for your opponent. I'll put these back. Yeah, I think Noxus is, or sorry, I think the, I prefer this version with Freljord over Shadow Isles. Uh, let's see. I guess I'm going to go Precious Pet, and then we'll play Omen Hawk on turn two.
with having the attack token. I'm not going to go Demolitionist on turn 2. We'll just go Omen Hawk. Bank 1 mana. Big fan of 4-4 four, four Draven. You can see the Nebastian border from here. So kind of glad no Fury of the North. I was a little scared of that, of them just passing priority back to me and then them having their own Fury of the North with the 1-1 one, one blocker. So if Braum blocks either one, then we'll use Spinning Axe. Look out for now we're cooking. I do have the ability to transfusion save Grenadier also, but I don't think I'd do that. So that gets Draven halfway to leveling up. They're still at a very healthy life total with a whole lot of guards. And another Braum. Stand aside. I've got this to do. Yeah. Should have blocked that Omen Hawk a lot earlier. Have blocked that Omen Hawk a lot earlier and just traded. Uh, there, basically, the reason why I didn't trade with that spider forever ago was um, uh, was the transfusion in hand, but certainly wish I did. play like these little things it's really easy for Brahm to challenge Looks like they have harsh winds again. Nice life. I sure hope they don't, but 
is the most likely outcome. Okay. It's not harsh winds, at least. Leveled up Draven, that's pretty nice. No one's the wiser. Still have five guards. Hey Iowa, good morning. Would be them going to six. Why not? Why not? This has just been 40 minutes of what would be the best thing my opponent could possibly have. All right, we're going to give him that. That's just what it's been for the last 40 minutes. I mean, yeah, it's not just the luck of my opponent, it's the luck of every single opponent. Yeah, so I could use spinning axe to kill one of the three threes, but they just got they would get another three three with the four o, so they they just didn't get the four o. Um. Down to six. Potentially. Oh, that's a bunch of cards in hand. Or 
is that seven? Is that problem number seven? Losing streaks happen. They uh, happen to everybody. Um, you know, you go on a losing streak at home. It's okay. Losing streaks happen to everybody. Um, you know, just keep your head up and keep learning. Keep uh, going through. The One drops kind of looked poor. We we were drawing a lot of one drops late games that did absolutely nothing. Especially Legion Saboteur. I wonder if Legion Saboteur it doesn't doesn't like ever get any damage in. Like this thing at least has fearsome, so it doesn't get blocked by other uh, one drops and a lot of two drops. And Omen Hawk helps out, helps the size of these things. Um, Saboteur. I don't know. How do we draw Crimson Disciple more? How do we do that? Basically, like I wonder, I wonder if we need like some more spells. That's what I'm kind of thinking. It's like maybe, maybe we need some more spells, a few less, a couple of less units. You know, maybe play like seven one drops instead of nine and play a couple of more interaction spells. I've talked about how maybe with uh, with all these large overwhelm things and like how combat's pretty important. That honestly, Whirling Death could just be a good card to just play as a spell. Really, I want Elixir of Iron. Like that's the card I want is Elixir of Iron. I just want to play more Freljord cards. <laughs> There's just so many good Freljord cards that I want to play. Uh, but then we have Vasilis Grider. There's so many good Freljord cards to play. Uh, is there any good four drop? Uh, Babbling Bjerg, amazing. And so you're talking about bes besides Basilisk Rider with Noxus. The Crimson Awakener is usually pretty good being a 5-5. Five five, uh, kills a lot of your one drops, which is a little bit of a problem. But besides that, this is a good card. Nothing wrong with Legion Veteran either, though. You can go Legion Veteran being a 4-5, a get some large things in like that. I've had I've had good success with both of those cards in other Noxus decks. Uh, both those cards have looked really good for me. I wonder if playing Crimson Awakener. Yeah, maybe playing Crimson Awakener. Iron Ballista doesn't look that great a lot of the time. I wonder if Crimson Curator would actually do more than than Iron Ballista. If you play the other, you know, if you play Awakener, getting free Crimson units. We've had a lot of success with this card with the, the other Crimson decks. No, I, I don't like Crowd Favorite at all. I, I think Crowd Favorite's worse than a lot of those. And um, I'd rather probably have these than Wolf Rider, honestly, too. Five health is a lot. Anyway, so we'll have to see. I'll we'll keep working on it. I don't know if we need the nine. Maybe nine's a little much for the one drops. I don't know. I 
basically want to try it out a little bit more still as is we just had a lot of like I don't know if like just because of those five games that necessarily got to go just suddenly change the deck up when you know last time we we won all of our games whenever we played this and I've had a lot of success off stream with it too and then just suddenly we play five games where um every time you're you're like well if the opponent has this card i'm in trouble they have that card and that just happened over and over and over every single turn for 40 minutes straight doesn't necessarily mean that you gotta suddenly change everything about the deck um anyway that's it here though for basilisk aggro uh we'll try to turn rank up sunday around up next with our twisted sejuani those y'all watching on youtube Hit that like button over there. Um, feel free to, to leave any comments as well about just the stuff that, that we are talking about. Um, but uh, anyway, that's all I got here for Basilisk Agro. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.